Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, I just wanted to make a, a small video uh, about the um, a proposition for the UI of um, of um, the Sketcher. Uh, more specifically, there are two uh, themes today. Uh, the first one are the toolbars, and the second one are some new icons. <coughs> So the current situation, uh, you have three toolbars, geometries, and then uh, constraints, and then you have sketcher tools, but uh, the sketcher tool is not very clear because you have like uh, constraint tools and then you have geometry tools. So it's like, it feels a bit like we put all the, the things that are more complex in here. And so yeah, it's, it's uh, I think it could be improved and what I propose is that we split in uh, four uh, toolbars the first one is like uh, create geometries so you have all kinds of uh, geometries um, when you create them the second one is like uh, geometries modifications what like it create it's like modified geometries so you have like the chamfer um, fillet um, trim, extend, split, insert online, which is new feature. You have toggle construction, uh, close shape, clone, uh, rectangular array, and so on. And also uh, internal geometries, uh, carbon copy, all those tools that kind of uh, modify geometries. And then we have a third one, which is the constraint. Uh, in which you have all the constraints tools and the last one is like the constraint uh, modifiers or constraint like yeah modifiers it's a good word and here you can see you have the toggle driving constraint toggle active constraints and then all the all, like select degree of freedom um, Delete all constraints, select redundant and uh, co uh, conflicting constraints, these kind of tools here. So, yeah, that's for the toolbar. And the second one is for icons. So, here in the icons, you can see the first one I modified here is the polyline tools. You can see I just added an arc because with the current icon, you, it, it feels like you can only add lines with polyline and you can miss the fact that you can actually add more than lines you can add arcs and it's like a great tool and just because it's called polyline and you don't see here on the icon it's very easy to miss that so myself i didn't knew that you could make arcs with uh, polyline until i actually read the code of uh, of the of the tool so i think it would be yeah, a great addition to for the for the users for new users. Uh, second one that I change is um, the external geometries. Uh, here it's a very small modification, but it's just the line here was not using the same style as the uh, other icons from the geometry uh, tool set. And it was a bit small to read. So the idea is just to make it a little bit bigger and to use the same style as the others. Uh, and then we have this three icons, the three toggle icons. You have toggle construction, toggle driving, toggle active. And here you see you have no, like, it's not really uh, uniform. The toggle function is not like conceptualized by something. And moreover, you have the constraint toggles, which use rectangles. So I, I think it's a bit misleading. And these icons, they just look all the same. And they also look the same with um, carbon copy, and it's very easy to mistake them. So the idea is to change that and have one like specific thing that lets you see that it's uh, it's a toggle function. And so I use the, the the same slash bar here as the toggle active was using, and you see here you have the, the slash bar, and uh, white rectangle and blue rectangle for toggle construction. So um, also here it was not using the same style for the rectangles. You can see the, the rectangle is not the same style and here it was in dashes and I'm not sure it's very clear. So here it's using the same styles 
as uh, as the other geometry tools and uh, and for the constraints the idea is to use uh, instead of rectangles to use actual constraints icons so and red on one side blue on the other and the same icons for both toggles but just not the same colors so yeah that's pretty much it and yeah the the line the color of the slash bar uh, may be open to discussion because red is not uh, not so good, I think, uh, mainly because the constraints here are red, so it's red, red, and it, it makes things not so clear. So I'd like to use another colors, another color, and I posted a few uh, options here. So um, you can go on the forum and have a look. And yeah, uh, that's also something I wanted to say. If you like this uh, new ID for the tool sets, please go on the forum, the links will be down in the description of the video and, uh, and leave a comment about it. Uh, say if you like it, if you don't like it, if you think the, the color of the slash bar should be something else. Uh, it's very important because currently like almost no one posted, that's just one person who posted. And so the mergers of FreeCAD, they will just think that yeah, no one liked this ID. So, if you like uh, an ID, please take the time to create an account on the forum and just post like I like it or plus one. You, you can say just to express that you like this ID. And uh, well, that's pretty much it for today. And if you uh, also one thing that uh, I'd like to mention is that uh, some people ask me uh, to if I had a Patreon account. And I think it's actually a good idea. So I created one. And uh, if you want to support my work uh, on the Sketcher and you like the features I'm developing, consider um, subscribing there and supporting me. Because basically, the more income I can get from uh, developing uh, FreeCAD, the more time I can spend uh, developing on FreeCAD, basically. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it.